Hello again, street carters. Hope that you're well. OK, round two of the British Stock Carts Championships. This time, we're at Gibson. Now, I've done a handful of runs before I came to this run. This run that I'm going to show you is my best so far. Uh, although it breaks the world record here, Robert has already beaten me. And to be honest, I expect Robert to stay in front now. Whether I have another go or not, I'll decide later. But this is my best run so far. As usual, I'm doing my runs quite late at night. Well, actually, it's early in the morning. So this was very nearly one o'clock in the morning. So the temperatures at the track were quite cool, which is always going to be the optimum time to put your best times in. So first lap at Gibson. You want to move over to the right hand side of the track. You don't need to go all the way over. You can take this first corner full speed on your first lap. For the first right hander though, I do try to keep my left hand wheels on the track. You could really put your cart just there, it's technically on the kerb. I've never been too sure of the legalities of it at Gibson, so I tend to just try and keep on the track. I actually managed to clout the barrier there, so it'll probably cost myself another half tenth. And now we've got this tricky little section coming up here. You can really lose a lot of time here if you don't get it quite right. We want to follow the kerb line around to the right and then make as wide and as smooth an arc into the left hander as possible. Now you can skip two wheels over the kerb on the left hand side but it will unsettle the cart slightly, you should be okay. Your main concern is not running too wide on the exit here and hitting the barrier. This right hander is full speed but make sure you don't hit that kerb on the right hand side, it really does unsettle the cart, really more than you expect it to. And next up is this tricky little double right hander, it's effectively a double apex corner. There's several routes through it, I tend to try and get my right hand wheels over the kerb here and just try and skirt around that tie wall on the right hand side there and then effectively do the same thing on the second part of it. This next left-hander is almost a double left-hander, although ignore the apex on the left-hand side for the first part, aim to clip it on the second part. This should give you a wider arc and a nice exit line to get the power down for the run to the final corner. And that final corner just seems to take an age to arrive. You're trying to think about your best line through here. What I tend to do is get my right wheels onto the grass, keep my left wheels on the track, and that should give you the best opportunity to make a nice wide arc into the left hand corner. And right there, there's an absolute swine of a bump on the track. I'm aiming to get my left wheels over the kerb on the left hand side there, but if you hit that bump wrong, it pushes you out towards the barrier on the right hand side. Ideally, you're gonna get a nice tight line around that corner and open up the steering to get the throttle down. Just avoid the barrier on the right hand side and also avoid the gantry on the right there as well. I've come a cropper a few times there. Now just a little note about the first corner, from the second lap onwards you're going to be approaching it with speed, so you're going to have to lift off ever so slightly. I aim for the barrier, the slip of the cart should take you around it with a nice tight radius, but you don't want to let the tyres slide too much, otherwise it will understeer out towards the barrier on exit. I'll shut up now and let you watch the last two laps in peace. So that's Gibson Park. I hope it's given you a few pointers on how to improve your time a little. This round of the British Stock Cart Championship runs until midnight on Saturday night. That's British Standard Time. That's going to give you a day from me posting this video onto YouTube to really improve your times, hopefully. And also, if you can, aim for late at night, early in the morning. That's when the temperatures are going to be at the lowest and going to get you the fastest speed. Obviously, that's dependent on the British weather. It is scheduled to rain a little bit over the weekend. Hopefully, though, this video has helped you out. As always, like, comment and subscribe on my YouTube channel. It does help me out and it also helps Streetcart's channel out as well. I'll try and get a few more videos out for you on YouTube soon. It's been a bit difficult with time commitments elsewhere, but I'll try and do better. Anyway, I'll see you next time.